These are live images coming this evening from the Tihar jail. Any moment from now, from the information I'm getting from my reporters who are, sta who are stationed at gate number five, uh, Sanjay Singh, the senior leader of the Aam Admi Party, he's about to exit from gate number five of Tihar jail. This is the gate where, uh, this is the jail where Sanjay Singh, the senior AAP leader, had been lodged. Uh, over charges of being involved in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Uh, what we are hearing is that once he comes out of jail, he'll be heading to uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's residence where he'll be meeting uh, Sunita Kejriwal, the wife of uh, the Chief Minister. According to the bail conditions, he's not supposed to speak about his involvement in the Liquor Gate case. He can do uh, his regular political activity, he can try and keep the party together in the absence of Arvind Kejriwal. What he's not allowed to do is to talk about his involvement in the case. He's also supposed to give his uh, information about his location to the authorities on a continuing basis, keep his life location on, on the mobile. Shreya Chatterjee joins us at this moment. We're told that any moment from now, uh, Sanjay Singh, he's the first senior AAP leader to actually get bail after being arrested in the Liquor Gate case. Uh, so it's significant in that context. Naturally, other AAP leaders will imagine that they too could get bail. Uh, however, yesterday in the court, the enforcement directorate said they did not oppose his bail plea, which is also how uh, he managed to get bail. Shreya Chatterjee joins us. Uh, she's at the Tehar jail. Shreya, describe what's happening around you. Uh, well, Rahul, you know, at 7 uh, is when the bail order of uh, Sanjay Singh reached the Tihar premises, post which the entire procedure began. Right now, I'm outside gate number 4. I'll ask my cameraman to just cue in the visuals of gate number 4. Huge number of supporters uh, from the Ahmadmi Party. Uh, mostly, they are actually Sanjay Singh supporters who have gathered over here with placards and postcards. Uh, they are waiting for him to step out any moment. We are being told that any time between 10 to 15 minutes, he will be released from the jail. The procedures are almost complete. Uh, he will right now step out from the Tihar jail. And as uh, we do know, uh, know, that he will in all likelihood be directly going to meet uh, Sunita Kejriwal at the residence of uh, Arvind Kejriwal. So any moment from now, from gate number four, Sanjay Singh will be stepping out after being uh, released on bail. Sunday joins us. He tracks the enforcement directorate for us. Munish, the enforcement directorate in court yesterday said they would not be opposing Sanjay Singh's bail plea. The judge also observed that no financial linkages had been found. How are the ED officers reacting to Sanjay Singh getting bail and what this could potentially mean to the AAP for the other AAP leaders who are currently still lodged in jail or in custody? Munish Pandey, can you hear me? Let me go across to Ashutosh Mishra, uh, who's joining us from the residence of Sanjay Singh. They've got Dole's AAP supporters at Sanjay Singh's residence. Uh, you've been tracking the Aam Aadmi Party, Ashutosh, for a long time. Clearly, the AAP highly enthused. Uh, they're hoping that in Kejriwal's absence, Sanjay Singh could now possibly become the fulcrum around whom the AAP is able to galvanize. Absolutely. And you know, Rahul, as it is said, Registan mein paani milna. The bail to Sanjay Singh and death in a Delhi excise case was no less than that. And perhaps why you see since yesterday, ever since Supreme Court announced this order, giving him this relief, there is only and only gathering of the supporters, cadre, party workers, leader, everyone around. In fact, let's cut it to Sanjay Singh's father who's joining me here. Aap in fact, he was on the way to Tihar Jalan because of massive traffic jam, it came back. Because by the, by the time he could reach, probably he would be released. Pahli, pahla reaction, Bauji, when you know that you have to go to jail, you will be in jail. Now, the law is not going to be in jail. It is not going to be in jail. इसमें कहीं कोई तार्किक चीज नहीं दिखती है ये टेरर दिखता है सत्ता का टेरर दिखता है अगर ऐसे कोई साक्ष्य होते ही तो यूडीसीजीआई को क्या दिक्कत थी उस साक्ष्य देते वो तो ऐसा साक्ष्य दे रहे हैं जितने फतवन करोड़ की जो है वो इलेक्ट्रिक वन दिया है और उसी को गवाह बनाया गया है अब मनी ट्रेनिंग तो होता है ये कहाँ हुई है हम कहते हैं आप उन्हें इतना रुपया लिया है 
इससे आपका आरोप सिद्ध नहीं हुआ तो अब आगे तो ये चर्चाएं जो है अदालत में होंगी सड़कों पर भी होंगी लेकिन परिवार के लिए कितनी राहत और पार्टी के लिए कितनी राहत जिसके पार्टी के मुखिया तक को जेल हो गई है और इस समय फर्स्ट और सेकेंड लाइन ऑफ लीडरशिप में कोई चेहरा दिखता ही नहीं सिवाय संजय सिंह के अब ये हमारे कार्यकर्ताओं का और शीर्षस्थ नेता का बड़पन है कि वो इनको बड़ा लीडर समझते हैं हाँ एक कड़वा सच है जो जनता भी सुनता हूँ कि राज्यसभा के अंदर शायद पहले से राज्यसभा शामिल थे जो बड़ी दमदारी के साथ प्रधानमंत्री से भी टक्कर लेते थे चुनाव अब जाएंगे प्रचार करने के लिए आक्रामकता दिखाई देगी पहले की तरह संजय सिंह में अब हमारे ख्याल से उनको ऐसी नपुंसकता नहीं दिखानी चाहिए अब तो जो है पार्टी की जिम्मेदारी आई है तीन तीन लीडर अंदर है उन्हें बड़ी मजबूती से जो है चुनाव को फेस करना चाहिए There you heard Rahul, father of Sanjay Singh. The family members himself, uh, in fact, they have gone to Tihar to receive uh, Sanjay Singh. Uh, in fact, he was admitted in, in ILB hospital since yesterday. Uh, there was some serious complication, and this morning he was released, taken to Tihar jail. But now the responsibility that Sanjay Singh will have to lead the party. to unite the cadre bring them together not only campaign in delhi not only campaign in punjab not only campaign in gujarat and assam and haryana but more importantly also to prepare in a consequence uh, you know calculating that probably there would not be any bail to the chief minister and few months from now they'll be also preparing for haryana assembly election and also the upcoming delhi assembly election so the biggest responsibility sanjay singh will now have as he'll be out in the delhi excise case policy Okay, Munish Pandey joins us. He tracks the Enforcement Directorate for the India Today Group. Munish, why did the Enforcement Directorate in court say yesterday that they didn't want to oppose Sanjay Singh's bail plea? So far, all bail pleas were being opposed. And what do you make of the fact that uh, the court said that no financial linkages seem to have been found, or no financial uh, trail seems to have been found going back directly to Sanjay Singh? Well, Rahul, this uh, application was specific to Sanjay Singh, and uh, when the Supreme Court was hearing the matter, then there was one argument made uh, uh, by Mr. Singhvi, who was representing uh, Sanjay Singh, that uh, he should be released on bail because there is no money trail. The Supreme Court also acknowledged the fact that there is no money trail linking to Sanjay Singh. Now, the problem for the enforcement directorate at that point of time was that the Supreme Court was very specific that if it is going to pass an order in connection with uh, sanjay singh's bail then it will go into merits and that is going to reflect in its order and that is when uh, the supreme court also asked uh, ed councils to speak to the ed officials and get back with instructions so that uh, they can uh, you know they can consult with each other and whether they want to debate on the merits or not argue on the merits of this case or not and that is when the ed council came around 2 o'clock uh, um, um, in the afternoon and uh, they said that they will not oppose the bail of sanjay singh now i spoke to ed officials regarding why they decided not to oppose uh, sanjay singh's bail they said that as far as sanjay singh's role is concerned they have been very specific they have not named him as a conspirator in the case they said that 2 crores of bribe was given to sanjay singh and for that investigation is almost complete so there is no need of sanjay singh to stay in jail but the court was also very specific on the point that this bail order will not impact any bail order in future for example if uh, arvind kejriwal files for bail application or manish sodia's bail application when it come to the court for hearing it will not have any impact so ed is saying that this will not have any impact as far as other accused are concerned or as far as the case is concerned any moment from now sanjay singh who's been lodged in tihar jail for more than 6 months uh, will walk out he's the first up leader to get bail uh, after being accused of being involved in the liquor gate case i want to go across to amit bhardwaj who's at the residence of uh, the delhi chief minister which is where sanjay singh is slated to go once he comes out to meet with sunita kejriwal uh, can you describe what's happening at the residence of uh, arvind kejriwal at the moment amit bhardwaj Uh, Rahul, you know we are waiting out here at uh, Six Flags Staff Mart. Sunita Kejriwal and uh, Arvind Kejriwal's his family is inside. a uh, six flag staff mark restaurants and it it is given to understand the moment sanjay singh steps out of the har jail what is expected is that first he will be obviously you know uh, surrounded by the supporters of aam aadmi party and specifically those who have come from the uttar pradesh unit because remember sanjay singh is uh, like an umbrella uh, to the entire unit of the uttar pradesh 
where uh, nearly 50 councillors come from and uh, a strong unit is being formed uh, uh, under leadership of Sanjay Singh there. Uh, so he'll be meeting obviously the supporters standing outside Tihar. After that, uh, Sanjay Singh with his family is expected to come here to meet Sunita Kejriwal. Now it has two uh, uh, messages uh, in it, uh, Rahul. Number one is of obviously the family connection that Sanjay Singh and Arvind Kejriwal's family has right from the days of the movement uh, till uh, the political journey and uh, to, to this excise policy case. And other message is the emotional message that needs to be given out to the uh, cadre and the leadership across the country. You know, uh, that the entire party, even those who had to go through the ordeal in the jail for six months, those leaders are standing with Arvind Kejriwal's family in this moment of crisis. And obviously, uh, those images will also come out. After that, uh, Rahul, we are given to understand that uh, the Ahmadmi Party has made a very, uh, you know, a, a, a long uh, a preparation at the party headquarters as well. However, they were hoping that uh, Sanjay Singh would be out of the jail around 4 p.m. and he could reach the party office by 7-ish uh, or 8 in the evening at max so that he can actually address the uh, uh, pa uh, party MLAs, leaders, workers who have come from different parts of the country. In fact, a couple of moments back, uh, uh, Punjab MLAs were also here uh, to meet Sunita Kesdiwal to extend uh, their support. So they were also expected to move uh, to the Ahmadmi party headquarters quarters uh, so that would uh, brought uh, that would have been you know a big message uh, being given out by Amadmi party so we'll have to wait and watch as to whether that program happens at AAP headquarters anymore or not because of the model code of conduct uh, you know which also restricts uh, this kind of gathering uh, with the uh, public uh, announcement system after 10 p.m. Uh, but right now Sanjay Singh is expected to reach six uh, flagstaff mark to meet uh, Sunita Kejriwal and after that possibly head to the Amadmi party office if there is no change in plan and tomorrow is the day, Rahul, when uh, Sanjay Singh will actually take charge of the party in many more sense. Uh, you know, you have one Sandeep Pathak strategizing everything, taking care of the uh, uh, poll uh, strategy, taking care of the uh, alliance in the national capital, be it the rallies or uh, strategy for Punjab and Gujarat. And uh, he has been doing it all alone, along with firefighting the way Amadmi Party is doing after the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Now, Sanjay Singh is someone who will chip in from tomorrow, who has control over the cadre of the party after Arvind Kejriwal, has oratory skills as uh, strong as Arvind Kejriwal and has acceptance uh, across uh, the states, uh, state units of Ahmadmi Party in UK, okay. Delhi. I want to uh, go Punjab, across now Gujarat, to Shaina and see who's joining us on this broadcast. Uh, Shaina is a national spokesperson of the BJP. Uh, Shaina, just look at the jamburi of cameras, the mileage that Sanjay Singh's exit from Tihar jail is drawing and what's happened over the past week since Kejriwal's arrest leading to the question of whether all this is generating sympathy for the Aam Admi Party and for the India Alliance in the build up to the Lok Sabha elections. It seemed as if the, the BJP was comfortably poised to win 7 nil. Suddenly there is an element of fluidity in the electoral contest in Delhi. Rahul how can you have any sympathy for the corrupt? Please understand that bail is a normal process which the Honorable Court gives. And from case to case, this is not a matter which I would want to comment on because the matter is sub -judice. But this is a fight against the corrupt. The liquor gate is not a figment of somebody's imagination. 338 crores of money trail which was given at the behest of a liquor permission being altered to benefit you is nothing but corruption. So please don't make heroes out of people who have done wrong, who have conspired with people only for their political gain. And if Mr. Arvind Kejriwal was absolutely on ball a law-abiding citizen, tell me why would he skip ED summon after summon after summon right from October 2023 up until now. This is nothing but theatrics, optics and media frenzy which needs to be condemned totally. Okay. What moral, moral high ground are we talking about? Property in public life? Is that not something that everybody should walk the talk on? Okay. So Priyanka Kakar of the Ahmadmi Party joins us. China of the BJP saying that this is no big deal, it's just legal procedure. It's uh, as per the court's order and therefore this doesn't make Sanjay Singh some kind of a hero. This is just the court's order being executed and that's all that there is to it. It's a legal process being completed.
How important is Sanjay Singh's bail from the lens of the Aam Aadmi Party, Priyanka? Good evening to everyone, Rahul Kavalji. Rahul ji, let me say this with full responsibility and you may verify this from a legal expert. Uh, regular bail under PMLA is no less than an acquittal. Why is that? Because uh, to section 45 of the PMLA Act, which you may have heard in Charcha for some time now, section 45 was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in 2018. BJP, without losing any time, went ahead, made an amendment through the finance bill, which amendment is separately pending before the Supreme Court and is likely to come up in July. They made this amendment and revived an unconstitutional provision, which in itself is appalling because you cannot do so. Be that as it may, Technically, Ravaji, between what, what you're happened, saying what section, and what happened is that he didn't get bail after the merits of the case were weighed upon. He got bail because the enforcement director did not oppose Sanjay Singh's bail plea. So there is a very big technical difference between what you're claiming and what no, actually happened no. in court. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me please finish. Hear me out, please. Bear with me. I am saying a regular bail under PMLA in this matter is nothing short of an acquittal. I am trying to explain why I am saying that. I am coming back to what section 45 is. Section 45 says that you have to satisfy the judge. At this section, mind you, was declared unconstitutional previously. Now, this section 45, at the stage of the bail, you have to satisfy the judge that you did not commit any crime. And the onus of this is on the accused person himself. I have to produce evidence against me. If I don't admit to my crime, the ED will say I am non-cooperative, uncooperative, a uh, sir, you. So this, uh, and that is why in Supreme Court yesterday, if you, uh, uh, if you followed the proceedings before the court, the court came heavily, heavily down on the ED and said, either you concede to the, the bail or I am going to write that he is, he is innocent under section 45. No, that's not what the court said. I think Priyanka Kakkar is getting flagged. carried away the over here. No, no, that's not what the court said. Sorry, no, I think no, you are saying all these. That's not correct. I, am, Rahul I was following Rahul the court no, proceedings, ma'am. No, that's what the court said. Ma'am, that's, that's not what, what the, court the court said. said. No, ma'am, that's not what the why court said. The you, court said, why would you say we this? will give an order which no, will no, which will then have ramifications for the trial in the lower court. And therefore, please be certain that you wish to oppose the bail plea, which is very different. Heard. Munish, Munish Pandey is with us. You. Munish, I can you come in because she's claiming all kinds of things that this is an acquittal. Uh, Ma'am, that's not correct. That's not what happened. You can claim that that is what happened because it suits your narrative at this moment. No, no, but that incorrect. frankly is incorrect. Okay, let me get Munish Pandey to explain what actually happened and did. Munish, take it away. Well, Rahul, uh, you know, it was a... Uh, bail application of uh, Sanjay Singh and when the matter was being heard then the Supreme Court made one observation that uh, there is no money uh, trail linking Sanjay Singh and then the court asked uh, enforcement director that do you want to do you want to argue on this case and if there is an argument then I will go into the merit of the case and this may reflect in the trial of the case and that is when ED decided not to oppose the bill. This is exactly what happened inside the court. There was no argument. He claims over whether... it's as good as an acquittal. Is it as good as an acquittal, Munish? Uh, there is a huge difference between getting bail because bail is something which can be cancelled in future also and that is why certain conditions have been imposed on Sanjay Singh. Okay, I think uh, those are the images uh, we've probably been waiting for. The gates opened and that's Sanjay Singh there. He's raising his arms in a sign of victory. Uh, it's not really a victory, but the fact is that he's out and he's been in for six months. So to that extent, it's big relief for the Aam Aadmi Party and for Sanjay Singh. And especially in the absence of Arvind Kejriwal, now the expectation, Ashutosh Mishra, would really be whether Sanjay Singh can hold the party together. You've tracked this party since its inception. Can Sanjay Singh galvanize the party? Can he hold it together? He's welcomed by his supporters. He's been given a garland. Uh, he's throwing that garland. He's a feisty, pugnacious kind of character. Not quite a Kejriwal, but especially in Kejriwal's absence, somebody who potentially can steer the party. These are the live images right outside Tehar Jail, Shreya Chatterjee is on the ground. She's tracking uh, what's happening right there and I can uh, attempt to go across to her very naturally. There's a melee. So just bear with us as we try and go across to our reporters. Shreya, can you describe what's happening around you? Sanjay Singh coming, given the fact that he was in hospital yesterday, got discharged just this morning. Uh, he seems quite pumped up and quite naturally very relieved.
to be out of uh, jail after six months? Well, absolutely, Rahul. Where we see right now outside Tehar's gate number four, spree of supporters from the Ahmadni Party. Uh, they're throwing petals, showering petals in Sanjay Singh. Um, they're also, uh, I mean, they're giving him garlands. It's a show of strength, uh, somewhat. And after a long time, Ahmadni Party who's probably not getting it at the best with the enforcement directed investigation in the liquor policy scam. Uh, this entire uh, bail of Sanjay Singh is something that the Ahmadmi party would now want to convert in a show of strength, especially ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. And that's exactly the scenes that are right now uh, taking place outside Tehar's gate number four. Uh, the supporters of the Ahmadmi party, specifically Sanjay Singh, they have literally surrounded him. There you can see Sanjay Singh, who's gone on top and he's trying to address all his supporters. Clearly, despite the fact that the, he was in the hospital, you can have a glimpse of Sanjay Singh, who's got up on the top of a vehicle. He is waving to all his supporters. He's trying to send out a message to all his supporters. This is a show of strength that the Ahmadmi party probably did not, uh, I mean, expect anytime soon, but clearly a moral boost of support, probably for the cadres, especially ahead of the Lok Sabha election. Sanjay Singh atop vehicles, addressing uh, the supporters who have gathered over here with garlands. He's asking everyone to be quiet, to uh, celebrate peacefully, uh, as the media is also trying to get a word from him. Uh, Sanjay Singh is trying to get his uh, uh, his supporters calm down as he can speak. Uh, they're clearly good at They have a long experience of uh, agitational politics. Uh, we can't hear him just at this moment. Uh, let's try and see if we can catch at least some part of that audio. Singh turning it into a bit of a show of strength. Lots of uh, AAP supporters at uh, Tihar Jail waiting for him to come up. Uh, and when they came out, he was naturally quite pumped up and enthused uh, by the fact that he's finally out of prison. We've got Ashutosh Mishra, who's at the residence of Sanjay Singh, where apparently celebrations galore have broken out. They're, they've got some dolls going and they're obviously very, very excited about the fact that Sanjay Singh is finally going to be back, Ashutosh. Well, Rahul, it's so loud here, I was barely able to hear you. But all you see is the celebration pool supporters. Uh, most of them have uh, gone to the hard day to receive Sanjay Singh. And those few students who each left here are all you know, literally enjoying. So these are mostly uh, the workers, the supporters are from Sultanpur, from Eastern Uttar Pradesh, and of course from Delhi. A few of the Delhi MLAs also came out here at Sanjay Singh's residence. Most of Bear with me for a moment. Uh, our leader Saurabh Bhardavaj speaking at this moment. Let's listen to what Saurabh is saying. Okay, go on Ashutosh, go on. So there you see Rahul, the supporters are literally in a joy. In fact, I could remember the day when he was arrested right here from his residence. And everyone, literally, many of them I have literally seen taking even resolution 
they will not be shaving up they will not be wearing footwears so that kind of support sanjay singh enjoys amongst the carders amongst the party workers because he was one not only solely uh, you know responsible for the organization uh, other than sandeep pathak but moreover taking charge of the party strengthening campaigning even declaring candidates so kind of uh, the uh, he was one of the most potential leader who was projected by the amadi party especially in the hindi bit including uttar pradesh madhya pradesh come here are exactly out of delhi in fact delhi mlas leadership have already gone to bihar deal so that's also get some major challenge for uh, uh, sanjay singh since he walks out tomorrow he have certain meetings lined up now it will be sandeep pathak and sanjay singh who will own sanga kakkar what according to you is the significance of this moment sanjay singh being released at this time when kejriwal finds himself languishing at tehar jail do you think it's god sent sanjay is bail you know you are lacking leadership at the highest level suddenly you've got somebody who's not quite kejriwal but can certainly step in in his absence priyanka yes i'm sorry i didn't hear your question can you please repeat that you know as an aap leader explain to our viewers what you think is the significance of being sanjay singh at this moment when arvind kejriwal is lodged in tehar just weeks before the elections when aap didn't have a senior face to represent them how important do you think this bail is in this moment is for the aam aadmi party well uh, i already answered why this bail is nothing less than acquittal although you were very disappointed with my answer so i don't i would like to ask you what do you think is required to get bail under pmla perhaps that will explain better to your viewers the significance of this acquittal the uh, we are stand been vindicated that after 2 years of prolonged hounding of the aam aadmi party when not a single penny was recovered from any of our leaders the same stance was repeated by the supreme court yesterday that when there is no money trail where where is the question of keeping him behind bars for so long okay one is that aspect secondly this is definitely this definitely raises a morale this definitely it's unquestionably a very happy moment from for, for all of us at aam aadmi party because we are honest people they have bjp has made these attempts to malign our image to show we are no less than the bangaru lakshman ka party today did you see the report in the newspapers which gave a list of about 25 leaders who have been who jumped ship to the bjp and then been washed in their washing machine so this is what is happening in the country did you hear the nirmala sitaraman ji ka interview two days ago where she said when the interviewer asked her that so many corrupt people are joining your party and she closed her eyes and she said oh everyone is welcome so their their stand is very clear they're not even pretending anymore about being clean or honest they're just there to malign our image because arvind kejriwal ji is a true challenger to modi okay uh, i just want to go across to shreya chatterjee she's at the tihar jail and i also want to show you what sanjay singh said so we've been able to get that clip by sanjay singh is speaking to supporters we couldn't hear him properly the last time around let's listen to what sanjay singh actually said standing atop that way till soon after his release here is sanjay singh sabse bada neta arvind kejriwal manish sisodia satendra jain ko in jail ki tarah apne piche rakha gaya hai mujhe pura bharosa hai ki jail ke taale tutenge
I want to go across to Anika Mehrotra of uh, the Congress Party from an alliance uh, perspective. Sanjay Singh now coming out of jail. How, how do you look at this from the perspective of the India Alliance, Anika? Uh, Rahul, I think justice must prevail. That's more important. And uh, I'm aghast at uh, how, uh, uh, you know, even China could talk about corruption. I mean, people, they're piling on one after the other in their party and they have the audacity really to talk about uh, corruption on the same breath. So I think they, they've been exposed uh, blatantly and they should stop talking about corruption because they are deep into it. I think it'd be better if they fight uh, as a for forefront with what they have done in this 10 years rather than, you know, hiding behind ED, CBI or any of these agencies. And they have nothing much to talk about it, Rahul. You know, the issues, the burning issues are still, uh, they're glaring at them. So, yes, they look fall behind these issues of uh, blaming the their counter, their opposition uh, and, you know, defaming them in such a manner. But, you know, they cannot collectively hijack the wisdom of this country. Okay. People are now aware... Uh, Shreya Chatterjee joins us from right outside Tehar Jail. Is Sanjay Singh still right outside Tehar or has he left uh, and do we know where he's going? Shreya. Uh, well, Rahul, he's already left uh, Tehar. He's uh, in all likelihood headed towards the residence of uh, Arvind Kejriwal to meet Sunita Kejriwal because his first words when he stepped out of uh, Tehar Jail was that uh, I mean, even Mani Sasodia and Arvind Kejriwal will come out of the jail. The bars will break free. That's exactly the first words of Sanjay Singh once he stepped out of Tihar. Quite a show that he did. Uh, but after this, he's directly now headed to Arvind Kejriwal's residence, is what we understand to meet Sunita Kejriwal. Okay, Sanjay Singh joins us. He's a, you know, old-time watcher of uh, national politics. Sanjay, now from your perspective... These images that we're seeing, obviously, A, you've got the AAP cadre enthused. Typically, in a Lok Sabha election in 2019, the AAP came third, it's the Congress that came second. How do you see Kejriwal's arrest, Sanjay Singh's bail, and all of this impacting what might happen in the Lok Sabha elections? Rahul, well, this is a big moment uh, for Rama Army Party, of course. And Sanjay Singh coming out uh, uh, hell and hearty. Of course, uh, he'll try and uh, be aggressive on the count of campaigning. But remember, in Delhi, BJP last time had 56% of vote share. And as you said, number three in, in terms of uh, uh, vote share. Uh, this time uh, around, Congress and uh, Aam Aadmi Party, of course, are together. But don't forget, this is parliamentary election. And also, this is, as you're making a distinction between uh, uh, bail and acquittal, Aam Aadmi Party, of course, would like to portray this as a huge, huge victory, uh, that which they are have, uh, have, uh, showing right now. And uh, I heard uh, jail ke fat kutenge bhai for uh, sab bhai chutenge. That I think that was a slogan which was raised during 1975-77. And uh, there, is, there is an attempt to make that a war cry or something galvanize the cadre. But uh, if Arvind Kejriwal is not there, and also these days you saw uh, uh, Atisi Marlena and Saurabh Bhardwaj getting very active. Uh, practically, Aditi was paying as number two to Kejriwal's to Aam Aadmi Party. And then we saw Sunita Kejriwal's practically, uh, to my assessment, a uh, relaunch of Sunita Kejriwal at India Alliance meeting. Uh, uh, Sanjay Singh coming out, of course, uh, that is a booster for Aam Aadmi Party. But don't forget that uh, this is still a, a bail. And Aam Aadmi Party, of course, their cadre uh, will rally around okay. uh, the Singh. Nalini Sharma uh, joins us. She heads up our Law Today Bureau. We've got, uh, you know, an Aam Aadmi Party leader, Priyanka Kakar, claiming that getting a bail under PMLA is almost like an acquittal. She's in fact claiming that this is an acquittal. Just try and explain the nuance and explain to our viewers whether she's right or wrong. Well, Rahul, if it was a regular case, then to an extent she is right that uh, getting bail will be an acquittal under the PMLA because at this stage of grant of bail, the court has to record in the order that they don't find reason to believe that the accused is guilty. But Sanjay Singh's case is not a regular bail case. 
The court has specifically noted in its order yesterday that Sanjay Singh is being granted bail under peculiar circumstances, keeping in mind that A, ED has not opposed the bail, and B, that uh, Sanjay Singh, the court has asked pointed questions regarding Sanjay Singh uh, and the money trail to the, in the case to the enforcement director. But keeping in mind that the enforcement director did not oppose the bail, no comments have been made, no observations have been made in the order by the Supreme Court on the merits of the case itself. Okay. So in this case, it cannot be stated that it is equal to an acquittal in any way because the court has recorded that it's a peculiar case and ED has also conceded on the bail asset. Stay with us. I want to welcome Vikas Singh, former additional solicitor general and uh, somebody who uh, is a senior advocate at the Supreme Court. And remember, the AAP is claiming that this is a virtual uh, acquittal. But before I go across to Vikas Singh, I just want to show you for a brief moment what Sanjay Singh's father is saying. He's at Sanjay Singh's residence. Let's just listen to what Sanjay Singh's father is saying. Okay, Vikas Singh, welcome to the news track. We've got Aam Aadmi Party leaders on our show claiming that an acquittal under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, uh, a bail under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act is as good as acquittal. Given the peculiar circumstances of this case, do you think that's a right assessment or do you think that's just more hype because that's not quite what went down in the Supreme Court yesterday? Well, uh, Rahul, so to be fair to the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, if there has been no money trail established, uh, then uh, it, it looks difficult that the uh, ED will be able to, you know, establish its, its case in the court of law because they've already done this investigation for almost two to three years and they have taken into custody a large number of witnesses. And uh, what they probably have is just a witness uh, naming somebody or the other. And on those uh, statements, they have been making these arrests. But that by itself will not be sufficient to prove the guilt in a court of law. In a court of law, they will require hard evidence of money actually exchanging hands being sent by uh, the Amadmi party for, you know, being used for their purposes and uh, somebody receiving the money and actually spending that money for that purpose. So all that probably is not available, it seems, because if they had been available. And Rahul, there is another point which is important. If the money trail had been there with them already, then there was no question of arrest in any case. Because then you rather go for a conviction rather than arresting somebody. Because then no, you so I just want to recount for our viewers what happened in court and that will give the correct context. Uh, the court cautioned the enforcement director that it may have to pronounce a detailed order citing explicit reasons as required under Section 45 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act in case it decided to grant bail to Sanjay Singh. Justice Khanna warned the ED that it would have to risk the possibility of such an order if it chose to argue against the bail. If we pass an order, we have to record reasons in terms of Section 45 and state that he is not prima facie committed an offence. Justice Datta then said that the mandate of Section 45 necessitated a court to be prima facie satisfied that the accused has not committed the crime before granting bail. Justice Khanna finally pointed out that such an order granting bail, especially from the top court, would have ramifications for the outcome of the entire liquor policy case, especially during trial in the lower court. Now, some of this is just observation. It's not in writing. And there's a lot of banter back and forth between the judges on the bench and the lawyers. Why, as a lawyer, do you think the enforcement directorate took the decision that it did? That is better not to oppose the bail plea than to push uh, the judges to give an order, which could have gone either way. So, Rahul, uh, uh, according to me, they must have realized that uh, this order will definitely record a lot of things which is not favorable to them. And uh, if you ask me uh, this, uh, observe, rather than you know threatening them that we'll pass this order, they should have actually passed this order, recording all what they felt is uh, to be recorded in this matter because ultimately they are supposed to do justice. And in doing justice, uh, if they feel that there are some observations to be, uh, you know, go, to go in favor of the persons who are accused of this crime, uh, they should get it. Why not? I mean, does this case have bearing only on has... Sanjay Singh's legal travails or does it have a larger bearing on the liquor gate case itself? So ultimately, it will have a larger bearing. Because, Why? Uh, because this is only specifically in the context of whether there's a money trail about Sanjay Singh, not about Vijay Nair, not about Kejriwal, not about Sasodia, not about anybody else. So why do you think no, it has so, a larger bearing? 
so uh, rahul so basically uh, all these people who have been so far arrested in the matter to my knowledge uh, apart from manish sodia who apparently has claimed to be in uh, direct touch with those people who have uh, paid the money and this i am only going by whatever i have come to see in the public domain and i don't have any first hand information apart from manish sodia nobody else has been held to be directly involved in this uh, this money uh, you know sort of uh, deal and if they have been not involved then sanjay singh and kejriwal would stand on the same footing for it to be and if they are on the same footing then whatever observations were to be made in the case of sanjay singh would automatically benefit now that the uh, observations kejriwal. haven't been made you were saying the supreme court should have pressed on and made the observation uh, have actually written it down now that that hasn't happened what does that mean for the bail plea of an arvind kejriwal which has been reserved today well as far as arvind kejriwal bail is concerned uh, you know again i am not commenting on the merits of whether he ultimately has committed the crime or not but i can tell you one thing that keeping somebody behind bars only because he is not cooperating with the investigation according to me is completely illegal and violative of the fundamental right of somebody because if there is any question which i feel is likely to implicate me then article 20 sub clause 3 i have a right to remain silent and if i am remaining silent you can't say that he is not cooperating so according to me even keeping somebody in a jail and if you will recall rahul anticipatory bail was inserted in this crpc only because it was felt that political people who are out of power are uh, being harassed and accordingly this uh, provision was brought in so if you are if you brought in a particular provision for anticipatory bail i don't see why at least regular bail should not have been granted no but that and does that apply for the prevention of money laundering act no so no that was not under the prevention of money laundering act but the evidence in prevention of money laundering act the fact that you have to show these uh, to meet the twin conditions the evidence has to be also of a much higher pedestal because you are dealing with ultimately a liberty of a person and if you don't have that kind of evidence with you which apparently you don't then there is no question of uh, uh, you know not making these observations today which could help the other accused in this matter as well okay one last question so before i, I let I you go vikas to... singh the app leader we had on the show claimed that getting bail under prevention of money laundering act given especially how difficult it is to get bail is almost as good as an acquittal do you buy that or is she just uh, trying to exaggerate and hype what really happened so it, it in in one sense it can be said to be so because you know if the ed had something against him then definitely they would have rather wanted the supreme court to pass a judgment and seeing uh, and and saying whether that win condition or it could be a tactical not. retreat so in the court so is, as prosecutions often is. work and you know that well it could also be a tactical retreat that the big fish here is kejriwal let's go after him and we can pull back even if sanjay singh goes is bad enough from the prosecution perspective but not a worst case scenario why take a risk and see what the supreme court has to say in its order so it could actually from a prosecution lens work both ways Dosto Rahul you have already kept Sanjay Singh also for quite some time inside jail and uh, after having kept somebody in jail for such a long period of time to let it go like this is according to me so that means uh, it it clearly means that in the first place you didn't have anything against him for keeping him behind bars for 6 okay. months okay i think pranga takkar is itching to come in and respond to what you're saying we heard you thank you very much vikas singh for joining us and thank sharing you. your perspective on this appreciate your time request you to join us at short notice and uh, you did drop what you were doing to come so i appreciate that thank you priyanka very quickly because i want to go across to the residence of uh, sanjay singh after that go ahead rahul i'm very grateful to you that you brought in a senior advocate who also vouched for what i was saying but i was surprised that you were still trying to find some ma'am my job is to ask questions you know, not to take sides you know at some point you will no, no, also you don't have, have to be surprised my job my job is to ask questions ask not to take sides extortion department you will have to ask the extortion when will the ed's case when will you probe ed's case and all of this the extortion department extorted a statement out of sanjay sir sharat chandra reddy who gave 60 crores to bjp i hope you saw we did a full show on that priyanka chaturvedi i think you when were on the show i think you were on the show and we did a full show on that so i'm not i'm quite surprised that you're saying this because various app leaders have been on the show when we actually questioned that how... has to be questioned yes and that you know that we have be... done that okay it, just stay it, with me amit bhardwaj joins us he is as a resident a... of uh, the delhi chief minister what i am understanding is that at this moment uh, uh, sanjay singh is on his way along with his wife anita singh and his daughter ishita singh uh, to the residence of arvind kejriwal and they'll be meeting sunita kejriwal in a moment from now uh, amit can you explain to our viewers what's happening uh, where you are outside kejriwal's residence 
Uh, Rahul, you know, Sanjay Singh has left from Tihar jail. We saw those visuals of the AAP supporters surrounding him, uh, raising slogans, and then Sanjay Singh saying that this is not the moment of celebration, rather the moment of struggle. And uh, jail ke taale tootenge, Arvind Kejriwal shooting is the message that Sanjay Singh gave. And that message will be actually taken to this uh, particular house right behind me, uh, Six Flag Staff Mark, where Sunita Kejriwal is, who has been so far, you know, working as the emotional card of Aam Aadmi Party, also the messenger of Arvind Kejriwal. You know, so far Arvind Kejriwal has sent out his letters, messages and orders, government orders through Sunita Kejriwal uh, in the public domain. And today, uh, Sanjay Singh will be coming here along with his family. Anita Singh, his wife and Ishita, his daughter, are accompanying him to, uh, for the CM residence. And uh, uh, Sanjay Singh will be meeting Sunita Kejriwal. You know, the message has been already sent out, uh, uh, sent in. Uh, at six flag staff mark they have been also waiting for this uh, moment where sanjay singh steps out of the hard jail and reaches the cm stay with us i want to show uh, our viewers what uh, sanjay singh uh, said when he came out yes. of the hard jail he uh, he talks of jashn manane ka waqt nahi hai sangharsh ka waqt hai and he's speaking of how he thinks kejriwal satyendra jain sisodia will come out of the hard here is sanjay singh speaking to the public for the first time after spending 181 days inside the hard jail सबसे बड़ा नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल मनीष सिसोदिया सतेंद्र जैन को इन जेल किस तरह से पीछे रखा गया है मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि जेल के ताले टूटेंगे I want to spend a moment talking about what happened in the Arvind Kejriwal case. Uh, remember, from a simple calculation basis, how much time it will take from Tehar till uh, the residence of Arvind Kejriwal is about 45 minutes. So we anticipate around 9:10 to 9:20 is where Sanjay Singh's car should reach the residence of uh, Sunita Kejriwal and Arvind Kejriwal. Meanwhile, Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, has challenged his arrest by the enforcement directorate the delhi high court reserved its judgment on kejriwal's plea today the enforcement directorate said that kejriwal is the kingpin of the liquor gate scam the probe agency also told the court that the money trail in kejriwal's case has been found delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal is behind the bars but his legal battle continues Kejriwal moved Delhi High Court against his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate calling it illegal. Delhi Chief Minister called his arrest nothing but a political vendetta terming it a bit to defame his party just before crucial 2024 Lok Sabha polls. He also questioned as to how can one be arrested without having any proof against the person. The probe agency called Kejriwal's arrest legal. ED once again termed Kejriwal a kingpin of Delhi liquor scam, alleging that he demanded kickbacks from booze barons. Calling up as a major beneficiary of the scam, the probe agency stated that it had ample evidence of Kejriwal's guilt. Tihar jail officials and AAP locked horns over Kejriwal's health. Tihar jail in an official release rubbished AAP claims that Kejriwal has drastically lost weight in custody. Tihar jail said Kejriwal's blood pressure, sugar level and vital parameters are all normal. Tihar also pointed to home cooked food being supplied to Kejriwal. Jab wo ED ki custody mein the to teen baar unka sugar level gira. एक बार उनका शुगर लेवल 46 तक पहुंच गया जो किसी भी व्यक्ति के लिए जानलेवा साबित हो सकता है चाहे जो शुगर लेवल में फ्लक्चुएशन हुआ है चाहे साढ़े चार किलो वजन का घटना हो मात्र 12 दिन में ये एक बहुत गंभीर बात है ये एक बहुत सीरियस बात है किसी इंसान का साढ़े चार किलो वेट कम हो जाए और वो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दो दिन पहले हमने कोर्ट में देखे थे आए हुए थे दो ही तो दिन हुए उनको जेल गए हुए 
अब दो दिन पहले जब उनसे पूछा जाता है कहते मैं ठीक हूँ तंदुरुस्त भी हूँ और मेरे को बड़े अच्छी तरह से ट्रीट कर रहे हैं अब दो दिन में जब आपके घर का खाना जा रहा है तो मैं तो ये कहूंगा सुनीता भाभी जी को ध्यान देना चाहिए कि घर के खाने में ऐसी कौन सी चीज जा रही है जिसके कारण उनका वेट कम हो रहा है विल लिखो गेट डिटर्मिन आउटकम ऑफ सेवन डेली लोकसभा सीट विद कानु शारदा राम किंकर एंड अमित भारद्वाज इन डेली ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे my colleague nalini sharma who heads our lottery bureau is listening very carefully uh, to the bail hearing of arvind kejriwal given what happened in the sanjay singh case do you think that has any bearing at all on the kejriwal bail hearing of course we have no idea what the uh, what the bail order will finally be but in most cases in the past and given the provisions of the prevention of money laundering act it's quite likely uh, that he may have to spend some more time in jail is that your reading or not Well, Rahul, once somebody is inside jail under the PMLA, it is always an uphill battle for them to try and get out on bail. But there are a lot of similarities between the case against Sanjay Singh as well as Arvind Kejriwal in the Delhi Excise Policy matter. Essentially, because both the cases against Sanjay Singh as well as Arvind Kejriwal, the ED has built both these. Nani, I'll just try and set that audio line with you correct in a moment. Uh, Munish Pandey. from your perspective talking to uh, officers who are actually prosecuting this case inside the enforcement directorate do they see sanjay singh's bail order as a big snub as a big loss of face because you know the judges do remark that that prime of si doesn't seem to be a money trail now the, they didn't say it in a written order but even if they're saying this uh, up and their supporters in the india alliance will go to town saying boss no money trail has been found in sanjay singh's case but all this is what amadi party has been claiming from last one and a half year that there is no money trail in the case but uh, interestingly when uh, the matter was being heard today before the high court the enforcement directorate in its argument said that they have found money trail and remember so, when uh, in kejriwal's case not in sanjay singh's case yes there is in kejriwal's case this sanjay singh's order is very specific and the court is very clear the supreme court is very clear that it will not impact any other hearing in this case for example bail matter of manish sisodia or arvind kejriwal as far as arvind kejriwal uh, case is concerned uh, an affidavit of more than 260 pages has been filed by the enforcement directorate the argument was made by ed today and uh, they have said that uh, they have found money trail of more than 45 crores of rupees and to establish that when this matter was being heard his remand uh, was being heard before the lower no, but court but what kind of a money trail is it from what i understand of past cases the money trail has to come back to some kind of proceeds coming to the accused well in this case what ed is claiming that uh, 100 crore rupees was received by the um, amadi party through vijay nair and arvind kejriwal was aware of it and that is why he has been called uh, kingpin by the enforcement directed out of that 100 crores of rupees 45 crore rupees has gone to goa elections and to establish that chain and that chain the ed has ed is claiming to have recorded statements of aap candidates who have said this to ed that uh, they received cash money from the aam aadmi party they have recorded statements of hawala operators who have given this statement to the enforcement does the directorate. statement count as evidence when the order is finally pronounced when a judgment is pronounced well rahul according to prevention of money laundering act if any statement has been recorded under section 50 of prevention of money laundering act it will act as an evidence for the prosecuting agency okay. so so we leave it there for the time being uh this is ultimately something which a real judge needs to said we can just ask the questions judges need to do their job and they need to weigh in on the basis of the merits and by looking at the provisions of the law what we're trying to do is just cover the story without trying to pretend to be judge and jury the india today group has just recorded an exclusive interview with senior aap leader sanjay singh i'm going to play it out for you i uh, remember this is the first conversation sanjay singh has had with the media after his release uh, this is a phone in that's been recorded by my colleague Uh, Pankaj Jain who covers the Aam Aadmi Party for us this is Sanjay Singh's first reaction after being released from Tihar jail Hum saath jud gaye hain kya aap pehli pratikriya dena chahenge jail se bahar nikalne ke baad Dekhiye main sirf itna hi kehna chahta hu ki ye jashn ka nahi jang ka samay hai Aam Aadmi Party ka ek ek karyakarta sangharsh ke liye taiyar rahe Hamari party ke sabse bade neta Arvind Kejriwal ji jail mein hai मनीष सिसोदिया सतेन जैन जेल में है और हम लड़ाई लड़ेंगे मिलकर संघर्ष करेंगे 
ताना शाह हुकूमत को भी हटाएंगे और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है जेल के ताले टूटेंगे और हमारे साथी छूटेंगे लोकसभा चुनाव में आपकी अहम जिम्मेदारी देखने के लिए मिलेगी अब अभी तो निकला हूँ बाकी पार्टी जो तय करेगी कार्यकर्ता हूँ और समर्पित भाव से हमेशा काम किया है पार्टी के लिए काम करेंगे ये एक बात जो आप अपने समर्थकों को कहना चाहेंगे बस संघर्ष के लिए तैयार रहे हमारी पार्टी आंदोलन के कोख से जन्मी हुई पार्टी है और इसलिए अगर किसी को गलत सहमी है इस देश की हुकूमत को या इस देश के तानाशाहों को या भारतीय जनता पार्टी को तो अपनी सारी भी सारी की सारी गलत सहमी वो दूर कर ले आम आदमी पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता इनके आगे झुकने और रुकने वाला नहीं अंतिम सवाल एक कमी जो आपको महसूस हुई जिसको आप पूरा करेंगे आप बाहर निकलकर निश्चित रूप से हमारे सबसे बड़े नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आज जेल में है और ये पार्टी के लिए एक कार्यकर्ता के लिए हम सब के लिए बहुत बड़ी कमी है तो उस कमी को चार गुना ज्यादा और मेहनत करके हमारा एक एक कार्यकर्ता उनके संदेश को उनकी नीतियों को लोगों तक पहुंचाएगा और ये बताएगा कि किस तरह से जुलमी तानाशाह ने उनको जेल में रखा हुआ है और आज उस तानाशाह सरकार को हटाने का वक्त है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद हमारे साथ बातचीत करने के लिए संजय सिंह जी